frog. Dermatology, the study of skin. The type of skin of the frog is soft and smooth. Special skill of their skin. It can blend with the color to escape their prey. And it is used for respiration. This type of aspect is the dorsal aspect. And this one, and this aspect is called the ventral aspect. Now, I will discuss to you the parts of the integumentary system of the frog. First is the mouth. This is used for breaking down of foods. Next one is the nose tree. This is used for respiration and for breathing of the frog. The next one is the for limbs. This is used for grasping. Next is the the hump, the hump, and the cloaca. This is used for excreting the meats and waste product of the frog. And this is the hind limbs. This is used for jumping the thigh, the shank, the tarsus, the prehalux, the web, and the toes. Next is the muscular organ of the frog. Its function is for the movement and protection for its internal organs. A muscle is an organ or tissue that by its contraction produces movement. The actions of muscles are flexion, extension, adduction, abduction, elevation, depression, pronation, sublination, construction, and dilation. The muscles of the backbone may be divided into two general classes, involuntary or voluntary. The involuntary or smooth muscles occur in the walls of hollow organs such as the digestive tract, ducts, and blood vessels. They are arise from loose embryonic cells called mesenchyme. The voluntary or striated muscles arise from myotomes or muscle plates. The term muscle is specifically applied only to them. Next is the cardiac muscles which can be seen in the heart. The, term, the study of muscles is called histology. Next is the anatomy of the dorsal muscle of the head and trunk. The temporalis, a short thick muscle passing transversely and curving around the tympanum and passing to the mandible. The cochlearis, a narrow muscle originating from fascia on the mid-dorsal line of the skull and inserted on the suprascapula. The depressor mandibulae, a thick flat muscle lying behind the temporalis and covering in part the anterior portion of the dorsalis scapulae. And the dorsalis scapulae, a broad flat muscle posterior to the depressor mandibulae which overlaps it. The latissimus dorsi, a long flat muscle crossing obliquely to the dorsal side of trunk and curving towards the shoulder region. The longissimus dorsi, a broad flat muscle occupying the whole length of the back divided by tendinous intersections. We also have here the iliolumbaris, a thick moderately long muscle lying behind the latissimus dorsi and between the longissimus dorsi and the external oblique. The coccygeo, the coccygeo sacralis and coccygeo iliacus. These are large thick pair of muscles immediately posterior to the preceding muscle and defining a V with its fellow at its interior head. At the ventral aspect of the head, we have the submentalis and the mylohyoid. It is a thin sheet of muscle crossing transversely the half of the jaw. At the ventral aspect of the trunk, we have the epicoracoid. The, the external oblique, internal oblique, rectus abdominis, 
Linya Alba. And the inscription is 10 DNA. Next is the masters of the Thai and Shang in the dorsal aspect. This is the triceps femoris, the foremost muscle of the thigh, lying on the anterior side. The biceps femoris or iliofibularis, a slender muscle covered in part by the vasus externus. The semimembranosus, a large muscle situated along the posterior margin of the thigh. And the gracilis minor, the most posterior muscle of the thigh. We have here the peroneus, a long slender muscle wedged between the tibiofibula and the gastrocnemius. And the gastrocnemius, also known as the calf muscle. Integument system for human skin for excretion of sweat for maintaining temperature for protection of our internal organs frog for, for excretion of water and it is also used for respiration and for protection muscular system for human it is for movement for protection for posture and maintain it and stabilize joint for frog it is for movement, for maintaining posture, for protection of our internal organ, and stabilized joint.